Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about the elective paper for second year BSc students that is aquarium fish keeping. So in this session mainly we will be discussing about the biology of aquarium fishes, importance and scope of aquarium fishes and how different types of exotic and endemic species of aquarium fishes are there. So these are the objectives of this session to familiarize the students with the basic concept of aquarium fish keeping also to know the different exotic and endemic fish species. After studying the this session you will come to know how and what are the important scopes of fish keeping in an aquarium and also you will have a wide knowledge of differentiating exotic and endemic fishes. So let's begin with the session before that you need to know the what do you mean by aquarium and what do you know as aquaculture and what are fishes. So let's uh, start with our session. So firstly we'll see what do you mean by aquarium. So we all have seen the aquariums in different areas like schools, colleges, public sectors like even in hospitals, the bank sectors and even there are very large tanks which have kept in open uh, near to the zoos etc. So the aquarium is nothing but it is a vivarium of any size having at least one transparent side in which aquatic plants or animals mainly that is fishes are kept or displayed. So it is also a tank with colorful fishes and plants maintained for human recreation. So the person who is interested or who is keeping an aquarium is called as aquarist. So depending on different certainty or the basis they are classified into different types. So first one we'll see based on the salinity. So based on the salinity the aquarium is classified into three types. First one that is freshwater aquarium. It means the water which is kept inside the aquarium it is a freshwater kind. Marine water aquarium so the salt water. Brackish water it is a mixture of both fresh water as well as the marine water. So based on the temperature so there are two types tropical aquarium and cold water aquarium. So tropical aquarium is somewhat uh, mild heated condition whereas cold water aquarium so the fishes which are belonging to the cold water. So based on the species selection first one is community aquarium and second is the aggressive aquarium. So first one that is community aquarium so it is commonly used in houses and it houses several non aggressive species but whereas in aggressive aquarium so limited number of species will be there but aggressive it belongs to the aggressive species and also based on the location home aquarium and public aquarium so home aquarium they are in small size condition that is in houses or in hospitals or in colleges but whereas in public aquarium it will be open to the public so the display should be very large and the tank or the aquarium should be very much larger in size. Then what are the importance and scope of aquarium? So we have seen different types of aquarium has displayed in different areas. So the aquarium keeping so which is said to be the second largest hobby next to the photography. So photography stands first but second comes the aquarium. So the 
study or the pisciculture what we call so that is fish keeping industry it is also a branch of agriculture where aquarium fishes and different types of accessories so they are getting their importance to for the tremendous economic opportunities also so this ornamental fish keeping and their propagation they are also having the attractive activities in different uh, places in the world so in what way you can get this scope so there are different uh, scopes like investment training for formal education maintenance and sales and also aid from the government so in what way you can bring out the investment so firstly like it requires very small investment for the couple of in it may be in thousand rupees initially but later once the money automatically get generated so the sales of the fishes and the aquarium accessories they also start so it is also a place for the setup the whole setup could be accommodated in the backyard of the cottage so if you are having a very small place so you can invest in less amount and you can grow this the aquarium fish keeping so also you can give a training and formal education so once you are having set up of this uh, aquaculture or the fish uh, rearing uh, equipments with the aquarium so slowly you can give a training and formal education for different type of uh, different people so that they are also trained and they can help in the aquaculture f- uh, field so maintenance of the ornamental fishes comparatively it is uh easier to different breeds and uh, here they are associated with the different types of foods also because some uh, fishes they are they are brought from the different areas like as i have said exotic and endemic if it is exotic they need a special kind of food and special kind of uh, treatment also and the sales of fishes and the aquarium is related to uh, mainly because of the transportation so that is also one drawback you can tell because we have to bring from one area to one more area so the tanks are fragile sometimes you need to get it in a very good containers also and nowadays in india as i said aid from the government so uh, swarna jayanti gram swaraj yojana so in 1999 so which has helped n number of people in giving out this uh, aquaculture industries so also they help in different fields so coming to the scope of the uh, this field here the ornamental fish trade so usually in india if you see the coastal line so as we are living in the coastal line that is in mangalore area also so in india the main areas like kolkata bombay chennai kochi and mangalore they are the main business centers for this type of industries so you know there are uh, around 90% of the ornamental fishes are been traded in the kolkata port and 8% in mumbai and 2% in chennai and slowly the west coast down part that is the uh, kochi and uh, mangalore nowadays it is getting its uh, uh, importance and also this project it is also a sleeping giant because there are untapped potential resources inside this so there are very much very good scope for studying this and maintaining this type of uh, aquarium fish keeping so next we'll move on to the exotic and endemic species so as we all know what do you mean by exotic now so fishes that uh, usually those species are non indigenous means which has brought from different countries or which are not from india having their own origin in other country and has been introduced to our country so that is uh, inside indian waters so many fishes like tilapia and uh, chinese crab then you are having european oysters these all are the exotic one and they have already colonized outside the geographical distribution range but majority of them has been introduced for the valid reason so we'll see what are the characteristics for this selection so if you are taking an uh, endemic sorry the exotic species so there should be a reason so that they should grow faster and they should compensate the uh, proteins also and they should fulfill the need because in the absence of similar desirable species in the locality so 
also this species should compatible and also should not compete with the valuable native this is very important because you have seen our endemic species are going down if you are bringing more and more exotic species they will compete with our endemic species and our endemic species are uh, population is going down so that should not happen and should not undergo cross breeding with the native species so this is also a kind of the characters which the exotic species they it happens so that our native species are getting affected and should be divided from the pest parasites and diseases and also they should uh, hardly be easy to handle and uh, for their usefulness maybe for the multiple benefits like for example grass scraps clears the ponds of weeds and excrete fertilizers in the uh, pond area so these are some of the characteristics of the exotic species so next moving to the endemic fish, uh, fishes so here in endemic uh, fishes as we have talked so these are referred to or these are specialized in one restricted area or the geographical range so as we are living in india so if you take the geographical range of india those these fishes which live here they are called as endemic fishes so in india out of 877 native freshwater fishes about 450 are very small indigenous fishes so as you can see the uh, this table the data says in marine ecosystem we are having around 1518 species but whereas in brackish water 113 because it is a mix up of uh, salt water and uh, fresh water and whereas in fresh water ecosystem also you are having very a uh, large number that is 877 so coming to the total we are having 200 uh, sorry 2508 species which are the endemic to our indian land so that is about this session so in this session mainly we have discussed uh, what is the importance of the uh, importance and scope of aquarium and also what are uh, exotic and endemic species and in introduction i have talked about the aquarium and its type so that's all about this session 1 thank you